Hey guys, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Mega Man for the Sega Game Gear. An LP I already did for the Retro Gaming Rangers, but since that channel is gone, I'm not going to talk about it. So is the LP, therefore I'm going to do it again on this channel, this time on hard mode. So yeah, Sega tried to make a Mega Man game, which is based on the level of Mega Man 4 and 5. Well, it kind of worked out alright, the music was a little remixed, and unfortunately, due to the smaller screen, you had to deal with vertical scrolling, where you shouldn't, which can lead to some blind jumps. And some of the AI is slightly altered to be a little bit harder, or easier, depending on what type of monster it is, I mean, enemy it is. But yeah, let's get this on, shall we? Okay, dealing with uh, one Robo Master of Mega Man 4 and 3 from 5. We'll go with Starman even though his character portrait is green. I don't know why, but you can blame US Gold for that one. So yeah, the developers had a choice between making the level smaller, therefore making Mega Man distorted, or keep Mega Man the original size as well as the level's the original size, thus having to deal with this kind of BS. Blind enemies. That's surprising. Oh yeah, and the power-ups bounce too whenever they hit the ground too. Do you know that? It's exclusive to this game. I think hard mode just means there's either more enemies or the regular enemies take more hits to kill. I can't really distinguish it all that well. A hey, good thing I did not jump. Oh, well, this is basically like the exact same levels. Nothing new. Just that due to the smaller screen, you're gonna have to deal with some BS. I see, I would not have known there was a spike pit there unless I played Mega Man 5 very religiously almost. You have to rely on your memory and your skills. They will help you survive in this. There. I had to kill that thing too. Okay, I think this will take four parts. Same as like a normal. I always keep fucking up there. I mean, this game isn't brutal. It's harder. But it's not balls to the wall impossible. It'll just take some adjusting, you know what I mean? Oh, boss time. Yeah, Starman's gonna be harder than the NES version. Because of the speed factor. As you can tell, he's moving slightly faster. Even on normal. Or at least the invincibility time is smaller too. Thus giving you more windows of opportunity to hit him. Even rapid fire. Up one more. Got him! That didn't take too much effort. But yeah, some bosses will get harder. You got crash weapon. Wait a minute, this ain't crash, man. Oh well, whatever. Technically, it is to start crash. Now for bright man. He's weak against the start crash here. I hate bright man stage. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. I mean, there are some stages that are worse. And that was close. Okay, let's, this part isn't too hard. 
I know exactly what I'm doing. Years of Mega Man experience, my friend. Years of Mega Man experience. Damn it. I'm not gonna bother to get up there, that's just energy. And I haven't taken that much damage here. I don't just regenerate it just by killing more enemies. Provided they drop the energy for me. Let's go. Get ourselves a knee tank. Oh, and an extra life too. Can't forget about that. I hate this part. It requires so many rush jumps. Use up so much for your rush real fast. There, all that for me taking extra life. Well, at least it's somewhat worth it. I mean, it will pay off later on. Like, where am I trying to shot go? just disappeared on me. Is that glitch giving or something? Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah, so I was saying once I clear a lot of games on my to-do list on my YouTube channel, I'll probably add a new to-do list, but it'll be a lot shorter. Just a cluster of games, once I clear them out, then I'll create a new one. That way you won't have to be waiting for games I plan to do for so long. Just a new plan. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I can't tell if there's any pit over there. Oh, there wasn't. Okay, let's get the Star Crash ready. This will make this fight a breeze. Unless he keeps shooting and destroying that. Wait, I'm all out already. Nice going. Look at this. So I'll just have to power my way by shooting. There we go. So much for using the Star Crash to finish him off. Yeah, whatever. As long as I get results. Now I get the Flash Stopper. Not the Bright Weapon, Flash Stopper. And we use the original names. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, we'll take on Napalm Man. Goodbye, everybody.